friends. Here it is. Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. The Eric Reacts back at it again. We got on ourselves another Patreon request with Wonderful Life by Black. First time reaction, guys, never before seen, never before heard. Taking it back, my friends, to 1986. And I believe we'll be taking a look at the official video clip. Let's get right to it. Before we get into the video, please take a moment. Comment, like, and subscribe. Makes videos like these a little more possible. And also, join Patreon today. If you join Patreon, you'll be able to request videos like these. Not only that, help support the channel, which is always greatly appreciated, guys. Yes. Check out my store, Derek Reacts Last Store. I have a lot of custom tees, a lot of cool stuff. If you see something, guys, grab it today. Yes. Um, I believe I have a promo code floating around, Derek10, out there. If you want to save yourself 10% off, take a look at that. Um, follow me and subscribe at both Facebook, Instagram, and on Spotify, where all my Derek React hits. Make the cut. That is my friend. That is true, my friends. If this one makes the approval, it's going to go directly to my Spotify playlist. Yes. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's go. So good, the synths. Wow. Interesting. Oh my god! Oh my god, this thing is so good. Oh, his voice. Yes. The melody is really good. It's really good. Not stand here on my own. Look at me standing here on my own again. Up straight in the sunshine. Here is the chorus, my friends. Wonderful, wonderful life. No need to lie. Don't cry. It's a wonderful, wonderful life. We waited too long already for, for the approval. Waited way too long. I mean, the song is three. It's it's almost five minutes, and it's we're already three minutes in. Don't worry, guys. I will rewind. Transition taking place. Looks like there's gonna be a sax solo in there, making it all the more grander. Where do I start? Where do I begin with this one? Epicness on all levels. Epicness on all levels. Voice is fantastic. Video is fantastic. Um, it almost seems like he's questioning the existence of humanity, right? It almost seems like that. Uh, wonderful, wonderful life. Love the steel drums. The steel pan drums, it seems like that's what that's what we're getting. But the bass is very, very key to this. And that sick melody that you want to sing. You want to sing along with him. Nice, nice stuff all the way around well-rounded the song is and that's how it's done let's rewind a little bit guys actually i'm gonna rewind it just enough so we don't lose you know all of that goodness oh 
Oh my god. Friend. Here it is, here it is. It's a great song. Going again. That bass. Very key. That is how it's done. Going yaso. So perfect, so perfect, guys. And he just walks away. I think I paused it too soon, guys. But he's walking away. If you guys are curious, no, nothing much else. Um, it's just a perfect song. I knew it was gonna end like that with a nice little fe. It's so feathery, nice and fluffy type of song with so much lift, with the steel pan drums elevated, um, with that sick bass. A very very important bass because. It gives you that breakdown just before he continues to sing. It's very, very done really well. Stru structured production-wise and everything like that. Um, his vocals are fantastic too. Colin. Colin with vocals. Um, and then you get those synths coming in by Dave Dix Dixie, by the way. And the creamy white. Tina, Sarah, and Doreen backing vocals. Are they there? I didn't hear them. Very, very faint, probably. That fretted bass by both um, Roy... Clark Hill and Jimmy Sangster, and then you have the Sidwell Brothers with a nice brass section, and don't forget that sick, sick, sick saxophone by Martin Green. So good, so good. All the way around, this song is so good. Um, I couldn't find not even one thing uh, wrong with it. Not even one. The only thing I will tell you is that it's going to get a lot of replay, both personal playlists and also Spotify for Derek Reacts. Oh yeah, it's really, really good. Um, let's continue. So, um, it's all about the structure. If you if you listen carefully, you have the first verse, second. Uh, you have the chorus, second verse, chorus again. He's not wasting any time getting back to it because he knows how sick and how catchy it is. He knows, he knows it, he knows it. And then you get the sax solo, giving it separation um, to um, break it up a little bit. And then you get the third verse, chorus, and then outro. And it's just a well, well put song together. Wish a lot of songs were like this. Um, many '80s songs were like this. But um, not too many people followed it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, it's just, it's just, it's key, guys. It's key. It was released twice as a single. Successful the second time, by the way. Becoming a top ten hit in Austria, France, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, Netherlands, and the UK. Black, who wrote the song while broke, while broke, by the way, commented, I was really, it was really being ironic. Most people took it at face value. The entire song is an expression of an apparent absurdity of our life. As humans, there it is, we exist in the midst of much greatness and unbound splendor as exhibited by all aspects of manifested universe around us. And yet, sometimes it doesn't strike us as such. Very interesting type of song. Very uh, metaphysical type of song. Um, and almost, um, uh, how, do you, how do you call it? Just, 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 you know, talking about like the existence of humanity and just very philosophical. Philosophical is the word. We uh, emotionalize our existence and our own peril sometimes, finding ourselves feeling unhappy, ungrateful, and alone and lonely. As life goes on everywhere about us, in, 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 irrespective of how we feel, overall, it's very poetic. Philosophical song, there it is. And with a great tune, it's also a remarkable backtrack of flying high, if you know what I mean. Very, very high, very elevated, very fluffy, beautiful. Thank those drums. Thank that 
that the vocals, the the melody, and and everything that it's put together with that uh, fabulous saxophone. That is how it's done, my friends. Um, how did it do in the charts? Well, um, it peaked at number seventy-two on the UK singles chart, and then the re-release one uh, became a, a very big success as it reached the higher peak of eight in the UK on the singles chart, nineteen eighty-seven. So the second time around, it did the job done. It did a great job. Love his voice here. Love it, love it, especially that friend part. And I need a friend, oh, I need a friend. Ah, oh. and then you get the chorus too. You want to sing it all the way. Might do this one in karaoke, guys. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Let me know what you think about this one. Until next time, for more videos like these, take care, guys. Hey, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And, guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys, take care. Love you guys. Peace.